get to the eighth square as quickly as possible. Which way do I go? What do I do? ticket. Well, don't keep him waiting, child. His time is worth a thousand dollars a minute. I'm afraid I haven't got one. There wasn't a ticket office where I came from. No excuses, please. You should have bought one from the engine driver. Ticket, 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 ticket. He means the man who drives the engine also sells the ticket. You should have known that. Obviously, no use in speaking to you people, or whatever you are. You'd better say nothing at all, then. Around here, language is worth a thousand dollars a word. I'll dream about a thousand dollars tonight. I just know it. <laughs> Where are you going, child? To square four. Well, at least she's old enough to know where she's going, even if she doesn't know her own name. I know my name. She should have known her way to the ticket office, mm, even if she doesn't know the alphabet. I know the alphabet. Nah. I really do. <laughs> She'll have to go back from here as luggage. <laughs> no, I won't. I don't belong on this railway journey at all. I was in the forest just now, and I wish I could get back there. Well, if wishes were horses, beggars would ride. That's an old expression. Here's another old expression. <laughs> <laughs> if you're so anxious to make a joke, why don't you make one? I would... Well, it's the most unheard of thing I've ever heard of. <laughs> what a bunch of grouchy people you all are. We should send her on by mail. She's got quite a stamp on her. <laughs> no, no, no. We should send her as a message by telegraph. <laughs> oh, hold on. I think this train's out of control. Oh, who cares? His eyes don't take me into the fourth square. Uh, I really think I should pull an emergency cord. Uh, there isn't an emergency cord. There's not even a non-emergency cord. No. There's got to be. All trains have one. You pull it and the train stops. Well, there isn't. You little cry, baby. There's got to be one. There isn't. The only thing you can pull around here is your own weight. That's what you think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, must say. <laughs> Who stopped the train? She's the culprit. Tattletale. Well, how did she do it? She yanked on his chinny chin chin. I almost pulled my whiskers up. You did. Look, girl, didn't you know it's against the law to stop the train? Unless, of course, it's an emergency. It was. The train was running away. Oh? And who was it running away from? That's a silly question. And you're a silly girl. And you're a silly Billy, goat. <laughs> oh, he got your goat that time. <laughs> got your goat. That's very good. I'm going to write that down on paper. <laughs> Next time, stay off my train. I will. Almost ruined my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Want. 
You look like a very nice person. A very, very nice person who wouldn't hurt me even if I am an insect. I can see that. But exactly what kind of insect are you? I'm a gnat. But what kind of insects do they like where you come from? Well, I don't usually like insects where I come from. But could you please tell me if this is the fourth square? You see, I'm on my way to the eighth square, where I'll be a queen. Why would you want to be a queen? I guess then I'll be grown up enough to go home. And my mother will be so glad to see me. She'll see how grown up I am. Invite me to sit at tea. Is this four, the four square? Yes, but I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Well, as long as there aren't any monsters, I'm sure I'll be quite fine. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really must be going. Don't say I didn't warn you. No, I really would never say that. Bye. <laughs>